Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, The Hallow. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a conservationist named Adam venturing into a remote forest in Ireland with his baby son strapped to his back and their dog trotting along. He specializes in plant and fungal life. As he makes his way through the forest, he inspects each tree and checks what kind of fungus grows on it. When he's done, he marks the tree with a white chalk. Their dog wanders off. Adam decides that they're done for the day, so he leaves the forest behind while calling for the dog. Back in their house, his wife Claire is busy setting things up as they have just moved in. A man named Donnelly arrives at the scene. He is a local who doesn't like that Adam and his family are moving in. He asks for Adam, but Claire explains that he's in the forest. Donnelly grows even more displeased, and he tells Claire that he wants to see Adam as soon as possible. Adam finally locates the dog. He realizes that the dog has found an animal carcass, and he takes a closer look at it. He finds a strange fungal substance growing on the carcass, and he takes a sample of it. That night, Adam inspects the specimen he got under his microscope. What he sees is a bewildering organism that attacks others. Meanwhile, Claire tucks their son into bed. However, she sees that there's a dark liquid dripping from their roof onto the son's bed. She asks Adam to check the attic for the source of the dark liquid. Afterward, Adam gets back to work and tells Claire about the parasitic fungi he had gotten earlier. Apparently, parasitic fungi are able to take over organisms like ants and control them like robots. Through the baby monitor, they hear the faint cries of their son. Initially, Adam thinks that it's just the son dreaming, but the sound of glass breaking loudly reverberates and the son cries even harder. This spurs the parents into action, and they quickly go upstairs to their son's room. Inside, they see that something or someone has broken the window pane and knocked over one of the lamps. Adam immediately concludes that Connolly did this because he didn't like him snooping around the forest. Adam calls the police while Claire consoles the baby. A policeman arrives and dismisses their concerns of danger. He says that it was just a bird who had come inside the room. He also adds that in their remote village, it's not uncommon for strange phenomena to happen. The people of the village are very superstitious, and they have always believed that the Hallow, or a race of banshees and fairies, resides in the surrounding forest. They can only be repelled by iron. In fact, it is a legend that Donnelly's own child had wandered into the forest and was taken by the Hallow. After the police leave, Adam takes his camera outside the house and snaps pictures of the window for evidence documentation. When he turns his camera to the forest, the flash illuminates a dark creature sitting at the edge of it. One second later, the creature is gone, and Adam begins to think he just made it up. But the dog is also terrified, and is barking at something unseen. The next day, Adam takes his son with him to town, so they can get the broken window replaced. It's palpable that the village people do not like Adam, and they stare at him with animosity. The hardware store owner ominously tells him that because he trespassed into the forest, the Hallow have also trespassed into his house. He also adds that he can fix the window, but because Claire had taken down the iron bars that used to cover it, there's nothing he can do to prevent the Hallow from breaking in again. Meanwhile, Claire washes the bedsheets and discovers a strange small creature hidden inside them. It's covered by a dark and gooey substance. Donnelly visits the house again and startles Claire. He warns her that if they don't leave, they'll be in danger. Before he leaves, he places an old book on the table. On the drive home, Adam's car breaks down while they're making their way through the forest. He opens the hood and sees that there are fungi all over the engine of his car. He checks the rest of the car, and suddenly, something pushes him inside the trunk and locks him inside. Adam briefly loses consciousness, and when he wakes up, he hears his son crying in the front seat. Something heavy lands on the car and scratches the vehicle. Eventually, Adam breaks through the backseat and retrieves his son. They get out of the car and see that there are claw marks all over it. Adam carries the son, and they walk all the way to their house. He still thinks that this is Donnelly trying to scare them off. He gets the shotgun from the closet and prepares to defend his family. Suddenly, the electricity gets cut off. In the dim darkness, they realize that their house has been ransacked. They decide to flee. They walk outside and encounter their dog, who has been injured by the creatures. They venture into the forest to find Adam's stalled car, in hopes that they can get it working and leave the village. Adam pops open the hood, while Claire is in the driver's seat to start the car. The headlights are the only source of light in the dark forest. As Adam tries to get the engine working again, Claire notices that the hallows are now surrounding their car. She urgently whispers for her husband to get inside, but he is still trying to start the engine. He finally gets it going, just as the creatures almost reach him. For some reason, they stop when they get close to the headlights. 
Adam manages to jump inside the vehicle, and Claire frantically revs the car. However, in the middle of the road is a pale creature that vaguely resembles a little human girl, and she is even wearing human clothes. Claire is so terrified that she steers the car sharply into a ravine. They now have no choice but to go back to the house and take shelter there since their car is no good now. Once inside the house, they rest. However, the creatures are now approaching their home. Adam hears some noises, and he peers out of the keyhole in the front door. Suddenly, one of the creatures pushes its stinger through the keyhole and pricks Adam in the eye. Claire rushes to check his eye, but he appears to be fine for the time being, except for the blood running down his cheek. He opens the door and shines his flashlight at the creature outside, causing it to recoil in fear. Adam realizes that the hallow can be hurt by lights, so he has to restart their generator and flood their home with light to ward the creatures off. He tells Claire to take the baby to the attic and hide there with a flashlight while he tries to fix the generator. Adam heads to the shed where the generator is, but while he's trying to restart it, he starts to mutate. This is because he was infected by the stigger of the creature that stabbed him in the eye. Meanwhile, the creatures swarm the attic. One of them reaches out with its stinger and is also about to stab Claire in the eye as she desperately tries to protect her baby. Fortunately, Adam regains control of himself and he finishes restarting the generator. The electricity in the house powers all the lights and the creatures are forced to retreat. Adam sees a pile of iron lying in the corner and he touches it, but his hands get burned, implying that he is turning into one of the hallows and he is also becoming sensitive to iron like them. Claire steps out of the attic with their son and calls out for Adam, but her husband is in the bathroom because his transformation is still ongoing. He gets the transformation under control and then reunites with his wife and child. He doesn't say anything about being infected. Adam then tells Claire that they should board the windows with the pieces of iron he found. Adam also knows that sooner or later, the generator will die again. So he hides their baby in the cupboard in case the creatures get inside the house again. They have no choice but just to try to stay alive until morning comes. Adam picks up the book that Donnelly gave Claire. Inside are stories about the Hallow and their mystical powers. There are stories as well of how the Hallow would steal human children and leave Hallow babies or changelings in the cradle. Despite their precautions, one of the creatures gets inside the house and abducts their baby. Claire immediately chases the creature to the woods. Adam gets overtaken again by his transformation and stays inside the house to regain control of himself again. Claire runs through the forest and dives into the pond. She successfully retrieves her baby and brings him back to their home. She hands the baby to Adam, who now seems to be fine. But when Adam gazes at the baby in his arms, he doesn't see the real son. He sees a changeling that was placed in the pond by the creature to switch with his real human son. Claire believes that he is just hallucinating and she tries to get the baby back. Adam pushes her to the floor. He places the baby on the table and points a sharp implement at him and shouts at the baby to reveal its true self. Claire manages to get the baby back and she runs away with him. She hides in the shed as Adam pleads with her. He starts transforming again and he breaks down the door of the shed. Claire tries to shine a huge overhead light at him and defends herself with an iron tool. Adam weakens and slumps to the floor. Claire runs away again with the baby. Adam stands up and decides that he will get the real son back from the hallow. He lights up a torch and ventures inside the forest. Adam enters the lair of the hallow and faces off with the creatures. Claire glimpses a nearby house. She approaches it and knocks on the door for help. However, it turns out it's owned by Donnelly. He points a shotgun at her. He says that he already tried to help them, but he can't do anything now. He drives Claire and the baby away. Adam holds the creatures at bay with his lit torch. He is approached by the vaguely human creature, who is now holding his baby. He realizes that this is Donnelly's daughter, who was kidnapped by the Hallow. She has now turned into one of them. Claire is now back in the forest. She only has a camera as a weapon. She routinely presses it, so that the flash would emit. There is another creature on top of the tree, and she tries to use the camera to prevent it from coming any closer. She doesn't notice that she is near the edge of a cliff already. She falls down a short ravine and huddles near a tree. Luckily, Adam finds her there. He is holding another baby in his arms, and he claims that this is the real son. At this point, his body now looks like the mottled skin of the Hallow. He tries to get Claire to switch babies with him, but he is interrupted by the creatures. He gets fatally wounded by them. Claire chooses to believe her husband, and she drops the baby she is holding, and instead gets the baby that Adam was holding. The sun is now rising, and the Hallow can no longer chase her. Claire takes the baby and runs, leaving Adam to die in the forest. The sun causes the left-behind baby to evaporate, meaning that Adam was right all along, and the Hallow had switched their babies with a changeling. This also means that Claire has her real son now. 
Adam dies with the knowledge that his wife and son are safe. Claire returns to the house and mourns the loss of her husband while holding her child. The movie ends with a logging company encroaching on the forest. The freshly cut logs that they loaded on their trucks all have the same dark substance containing the parasitic fungi that Adam had discovered earlier in the film. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.